Coming up in this video, I'll show you how to create animated GIFs with transparency in Photoshop that you created in InDesign. This is Justin from Ajar Productions. We'll start out in InDesign. I'll show you quickly how the animation is created, but I won't go into detail because we've got other videos that do a great job of that. So I'm going to use the animation panel, which is found under Window Interactive, and add presets basically. And then it says custom because I changed the duration. And I do that with each one of these. And you can see there's a little green arrow telling me which way these are flying in from. This one fades in so it doesn't have any arrow. And then if I hit escape, there's a group on the outside that has a fade out. Fades the whole thing out so I can loop it. And then I have this all set up in the timing panel. And I can use the EPUB interactivity preview to load that up and see what that looks like as I'm working. And then I'll use our premium extension in five, which appears up here once installed as a menu. I'll go down to the easy export wizard and choose banner ad. And actually this one, I actually need an advanced option for the purposes of this demo. I'm going to add a color to the background that we can easily remove because actually let me hit cancel. You can see there is white on here. So if I were to just remove white in this example, there would be transparency here, which actually, you know, that might be kind of cool. And it might be better than the result that we're going to do. I'm going to purposely show you a hard one. So let's do that. We'll go up to in five and go down to export HTML5 with in five. And the important thing here, I've got Google ad as the format. Nothing else is too complicated. I set the page color to bright green. There happens to be RGB green as a swatch in this document because it was opened as an RGB document. So I'll go ahead and export that. And when it's done, I'll open it in Chrome, which is my default browser. You can see I've got this bright green page background. And then I will use the free in five animated GIF maker add-on. It can create a GIF right from here, but we're going to create an MP4 and then take it into Photoshop. So to do that, I'll just hit record. I'm going to leave it on the max settings. Um, I have another video about Photoshop in general with the extension, and you can see the details if you want to change the frame rate or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and save that, and I save it as recording green. And then I just open that file, that recording green MP4 in Photoshop. And you can see it there. And then I'm going to go up to File, Export, and choose Save for Web Legacy. Now in here I've got the 2UP, which is my original on top, and my Optimize on the bottom. It is a JPEG, so let me change this to a GIF. It'll recognize that uh, the file is a movie with frames. And so it'll make this an animated GIF. I can hit the play button down here to preview the animation. Now it takes a little bit of time because Photoshop renders it on the fly and we set this to max quality. So it's 60 frames per second. It's quite a lot for it to render. So let me just pick a spot. Actually, let's go, let's go back to where we have everything on screen and work from there. So we've got most of our good colors there. Just going to pull everything into view. So with 256 colors, which generally we want, you notice there are tons of variations of green in this color table, which is, could be a pain to work with. So I'm going to do something really radical and just set this to like four colors. So just to give you a different strategy to work with. Now, I'm going to, you see it's made, <laughs> made all of them green. So I'm going to delete all except for one of the greens so that this entire background is one color, just like a, an old school green screen. And then I'm going to select this make selected colors transparent button. So now that's transparent. Now I'm going to start adding back colors. Actually, if I pick this color, that's pretty black. Actually, that might look good. So then I'm going to click down in the bottom window and click the, the new color button from eyedropper. And you see it's picked up that color. And I'll go in and let's see, I, I want white. So I'm going to add that. 
And essentially, I'm just going to add colors one by one to this because it's easier in this case than deleting all those greens. And I'll keep doing that. Uh, that's a pretty green color. But you can see this is a little bit tedious, but it'll get us most of the way eventually. You can see the edges are a little jagged. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have white in here and I can use white as my background. But in general, an animated GIF only has very simple transparency, right? So, and, and it generally has to have a matte color. So the matte color is going to transition from color to transparent. So if I then, if I took this, I have a white matte set here and I exported this and then put it on a website with a green background, you'd see that white on the, around the edges of everything in between the transparency and the solid colors. So this is finicky. I don't want to lie to you. It, this is going to be not fun to work with. But if you absolutely have to do it, I wanted to give you some tools and some strategies to do it. So hopefully this video has helped you do that and maybe you can find a way to work with animated GIFs with transparency without having to crack open Adobe Animate or After Effects or something like that. You may still have to open those up, but maybe this video shows you a way that you might not have to. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I've got other videos like this, other things that In5 can create, other types of animated content that you can make. So please subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.